Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So for today's video, I wanted to take a look at all of the teams that have worn the reverse retros that do have jersey ads on them and do a ranking of those jersey ads. Now, obviously not every team has worn the reverse retros or even has ads on their jerseys itself. The only teams that have not worn the reverse retros that do have ads on their jerseys are the least, the Canadians, the Blue Jackets, the Wild, and the Vegas Golden Knights. So obviously they will be excluded along with everybody else who just does not have a jersey ad. So we'll be taking a look at seven teams in this video. Now, before we do get into it, if you guys are new to the channel and you like hockey jersey content, please make sure to hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Starting us off is the Arizona Coyotes. Now, I will say when I'm ranking these jersey ads, they definitely have a very big asterisk to them. That being that I don't really like jersey ads in general, and I would 100% prefer the jerseys without the ads on them. So with that context there, I actually really don't mind this jersey ad. It is fairly thin. Now, it is wide, but definitely a lot thinner than at least most jersey ads are and I should probably specify as well is I'm not going to look at the company that the ad sponsor actually is because with most of these companies they are American and I honestly don't really know what they do so I'm just looking at how it looks visually at least on the jersey itself and with this Arizona one I actually do like the fact that it is white I know it does make it stand out quite a bit but honestly I think it contrasts fairly well with the orange on the back of the jersey if it was like a completely different patch like an anniversary patch or something like that I think it would look really really nice I even like the kind of like squiggly line that's underneath the resorts and casinos. I think that looks cool. So I am going to put the Arizona jersey ad into the A tier. Like I said, that is with all of the context. That being me not liking jersey ads in general and me not really knowing about the company either. With all of that aside, just looking at it visually, I am putting it into the A tier. Next up is the Boston Bruins. And once again, this is a fairly small ad patch, although this time it does have that black text with the white background. I do think that black text looks fine. Obviously, it does match with that shoulders there. So I don't think it really stands out too much. And obviously, with the white background on the patch, it blends in with the rest of the jersey since it is a white jersey. Jersey. But if you do look at it closely, it looks like the background of that ad patch there might have a different shade of white. I think that probably just has to do with the fabric itself. But I do have to kind of stare and look at it fairly closely to really tell that it is a different white than the rest of the jersey there. So honestly, this one doesn't really stand out to me too, too much. I think it looks all right. It doesn't really have that flair like the Arizona one. So for me, I am going to throw this one into the B tier. Going quite far down in the alphabet, going from B all the way to P, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins. I'm sure you guys will be able to guess that I really don't like this jersey ad patch at all it has the blue on it which just doesn't match anything at all so that makes it stand out quite a bit and it is also a really big ad patch as well i know they have like certain dimensions that they have to adhere to and i'm pretty sure this is the biggest that you can actually go so with it being that big of an ad patch having that shade of blue and once again that shade of black doesn't really match the jersey itself once again i think it is just the fabric but because of the fact that it is so big you can really notice it with all of those factors i am going to put this one into the f tier i really don't like this ad patch at all. Next up is the St. Louis Blues. Now they haven't actually worn these jerseys on ice yet, but they did release some pictures on Twitter with the full jerseys and uniforms and everything like that, which obviously do include the ad patch here. With this ad patch, it's very middle of the road for me. I do like the fact that it's not just like one complete rectangle and it kind of goes with the flow of the letters and everything like that. But with the coloring on this ad, it really just does not quite match the colors of the jersey itself. Obviously, like I said, I do think it might just be the material itself, but the shade of blue is fairly close but it's not quite there but with that shade of yellow you can really tell it's quite different it just really does not match at all so with all that being said I am going to throw this one into the C tier the shading does almost ruin it for me but the fact that it's not a rectangle and has a little bit of a different shape to it definitely does bring it back for me now we're on to the Vancouver Canucks and they are the only team at least so far that has their reverse retro jersey ad patch on the shoulder itself which I really like a lot well at least in context I should say really like a lot I think it looks a lot better than on the front of the jersey where I find those ad patches to be quite distracting so the fact that it's on the shoulder definitely helps that out a little bit which obviously they didn't really have much of a choice on this jersey here because I had the letters on the right hand side and then the numbers on the left and also with it being on the shoulder as well at least to myself if I just quickly look at it it almost feels like it could be another type of patch as well whether that be an anniversary or just another type of shoulder patch something like that so I definitely do like it on the shoulders there and with the colors they do match fairly closely 
Although once again, like those other patches, they aren't an exact match, but I do think they are fairly close. So at least in my eyes here, this is definitely the best jersey ad patch on a reverse retro. So I'm going to throw it into the S tier. The next team that we have is the Washington Capitals. Now they actually changed the placement of the ad on the jersey itself, or at least I'm fairly certain that is the case. So with this first picture here, they actually released a video the morning of that they were going to be wearing the reverse retros. And this is how the jersey actually looked in that video. But in the comments of that video, there was just a ton of people saying how ugly that jersey ad looked. And I definitely agree with them, mostly because of the fact that it looks like it's trying to be like front and center. But the fact that it's off center just really just makes it look very, very strange and just really ugly stand out quite a bit as well. So they did end up changing it or at least possibly changing it for the game itself. So this is how it actually looked in game. And even with that change, it still just does not look good at all, especially with the captains and the alternates captains patch in the top right there. The fact that they can't use the top left of the jersey because the logo is so big, it just really makes that top right of the jersey feel very, very crowded. That ad patch just almost feels like it's squeezed in to the right hand side as closely as it can. And then with the alternates captains patch, as you can see with this Dimitri Orlov picture, it almost makes it feel like the A is too close to the middle and it kind of has the same problem as that ad patch did in the first picture that we looked at where it almost makes it feel like they're trying to center that alternate captain's patch, but it's just not quite in the center and it's just a little bit off center and it just feels extremely, extremely awkward. Now, if we look at it without any of those patches, it does end up looking okay, but the fact that it makes those alternate and those captain's patches just look really, really awkward and really poor, I am going to put this one into the F tier. Now, since I am putting this one into the F tier, I am going to move that Pittsburgh one up into the D tier. And then last up here is the Winnipeg Jets. This is another easy one for me that I just really don't like at all. Obviously, it has to do with the fact that it is a red patch there, or at least mainly a red patch. Obviously, it is kind of outlined a little bit by white there, and then the Canada is also in gray. But the fact that there's so much red on that patch, it just really does not look good at all. It stands out way, way too much on these jerseys that are mainly blue, at least with Winnipeg's regular jerseys there is at least a little bit of red in that jersey with the logo itself but with this jersey here there's absolutely no red in it it is just that dark blue and baby blue that red is just way too distracting I really don't like it so this one is going to go into the D tier right next to that Pittsburgh jersey ad for basically the same reasons that being that it just doesn't have any matching colors on the jersey itself so those are my rankings of these jersey ads let me know your guys is in the comments down below and also let me know how you guys feel about the jersey ads being on the reverse retros. For me, I don't like the fact that they are on the reverse retros. Obviously, I do understand why they are, but the fact that it is a reverse retro jersey, it's throwing back to a time when there wasn't any ads on the jerseys itself. It definitely does make it feel a little bit strange, a little bit off for sure, but like I said, I definitely get it, so it's not really that big of a deal. So yeah, anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe as well. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. Links are all in the description down below. But like I said, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.